Welcome to Old Classic Car and in this collection we're looking at the cars of Aston Martin and to kick things off 111 DLC we're down at the uh, exhibition centre down at Stoneleigh for this one and this is an Aston Martin DB4 what a glorious looking car that is let me know in the uh, comments which is your favourite Aston Martin in this collection there are some real gems pre-war and post-war to ponder over and there is a rear three-quarter view of the same DB4 what a magnificent looking car that is. Next up in this uh, collection of Aston Martins, two photos now of a real, real rarity EPG 67 is the registration. And this is a Mark II Long Aston Martin apparently. It dates to 1936, has a 1500cc four-cylinder engine, and that is a Surrey registration. There's a rear three-quarter view of the same two-door saloon coach. It looks like a very original car, this one. This was in the uh, paddock area, a VSCC meeting held at Prescott, the Prescott Hill Climb venue, quite a few years ago now, but what an interesting car. I've not seen that since. Now to one of the sports racers, and we have HSK 110, two photos of this car. This is an Aston Martin DB3S, the car dates to 1955. Um, this was photographed at Donington Park at one of the historic festivals at Donington quite a few years ago now. There's a rear three-quarter view of the same car. What a glorious looking bit of kit that is. If you ever saw the, the film Checkpoint in the 1950s with Stanley Baker, um, it was one of these that was modified and used for the filming of that particular film. But yeah, DB3S, what a Bobby Dazzler. Now, two photos, or two cars rather, in this photograph. KMP424, that is a 1598 Aston Martin speed model. And again, this was at Donington Park Historic Festival. That car in the foreground, and probably the one in the background, also dates to 1938 down to Western Park. This was quite a few years ago, about 15 years ago, TKM 13. Uh, two photos of this one. This is a DB24, a Mark II, a drophead coupe with hardtop. And uh, what a cracking looking car that is. There's a rear three-quarter view of the same car on a slightly chilly day down at Western Park, one of the classic car shows there. But that is a glorious looking car. Very, very rare. I don't think I've seen this one again since this particular car show. So I'm really glad that I did take a couple of photos of it. Uh, there had to be a James Bond 007 link in here somewhere. And here we have BMT 216A, a silver birch DB5 used in some of the later James Bond films. It's not a, it's not a Goldfinger car, but um, it's much more recent. I think this Pierce Brosnan era um, DB5, as I remember. And there's a later photo of, I think, the same car demonstrating some of its 007 modifications. You've got the, the extra guns, the bulletproof screen there, and you can just about see the ejector seat in the roof, the opening for that, if you look very carefully over the passenger seat. Over to Alton Park, um, quite a gaggle of Aston Martins a few years ago at Carfest when it was held at Alton. And this is a DBS. In the early DBSs, they had a six under engine, the later ones were the V8, the forerunner of the big V8s and the V8 Vantages. Um, but this is one of the first cars. 212DP is the registration, and the car is a DP212, one of the uh, project cars. And this was built for the 1962 Le Mans 24 hour race. Had a four liter straight six engine driven by Graham Hill and Richie Ginther. So that's a very historic car, and there's a side on view of uh, DP212. There were several of these project cars in the late 50s and early 1960s. And we'll see other examples later on in this Aston Martin collection. Um, yeah, what a, what a cracking car that is. Very streamlined. Apparently went very well indeed. Back to pre-war cars and back to Alton Park and we have BML328. That's an Aston Martin Ulster. Uh, dating to 1934 and it's seen here just about to head out onto the track. Okay, also at Alton Park and photographed from quite a distance away, we've got 405 BVY, that's it's an Aston Martin DB4. Again, beautiful looking car. Now check this one and it's not been taxed since December 2021, so it's not currently on the road. Um, this car was first put on the road in Feb 62. Now PVE 581, 
This is a 1956 Cambridgeshire registered car. It's a DB24 Mark II in a very fetching two-tone uh, paint scheme. And this was photographed down at Silverstone a few years back. Carrying on with Aston Martins and back to a uh, car fest at Alton Park a few years ago. DMU 16E, or OMU rather, 16E, that's a DB6 dating to 1967. It's vantage specification apparently this one with a 4.2 litre straight six engine under the bonnet. That must be fun, as must this, also seen at Alton Park on a slightly cloudy, threatening day. A V8 race car from the, what, 1970s or early 1980s? If you know more, please uh, let me know in the comments about this particular one, as I don't have much information on it, I'm afraid. Yeah, very interesting car, as is this UJO 102, a Mark 1 version of the DB24, dating to 1954. That had the standard 2.9 litre straight six engine under the bonnet, and this was seen in the paddock area at Donington Park. Somewhat later, and this was at Alton Park, I believe, J500 AMV. That's a Virage, an Aston Martin Virage, um, that's a 1992 car, one of only 365 examples built. Um, so they don't see those all too often, they were built between 1989 and 1995. There's a rear three quarter view of the same car. And we'll see later in this collection of V8 Coupe, which was based on the Virage. Okie dokie, now onto the Goodwood Revival, and we've got a whole gaggle here of racing Aston Martins. We've got DBR1s in the foreground, which are very, very nice indeed. And just hiding away there with its wheels off is a DB4 GT. That is a glorious bit of kit, that is. What a great road car that would make. Back to Alton, A1 ASV, much later car. This is a V8 Vantage, dating to January 1984. This is in the paddock area, Alton. Um, I checked this one as well. This one's currently on Sawn. So uh, whether that's just off the road for the winter, um, it's the winter at the moment, I'm not quite sure. Let me know. All right, Chumley Pageant of Power. Several photos were taken of Aston's at Chumley over the years. Uh, the event no longer takes place, but BML 329 is still around and it's an Aston Martin Ulster. And it's on a sunny day. Um, the Pageant of Power is often blighted by wet, horrible weather. Um, and that was a rare sunny moment. Okay, NUV. 944, a glorious 1953 Aston DB2 in Vantage spec. What a cracking car that is. Beautiful colour chrome wires there, extra lamps on the front. What a beautiful 50s GT car that is. Okie dokie, over to Bista for this one, 5BVY. This is a recreation of another one of the project cars. This is DP214 recreated here. Um, again, this was built with long-distance sports car racing in mind, and it's seen here being exercised at Bista. Okay, if, again, like the DB4 earlier on, this was photographed from some distance away. What a cracker this is, a red DB6 Volante. The Volante being the drop-head version, or the convertible versions, if you like. This was at Alton Park, and uh, yeah, lovely car indeed. Just needs the roof to be putting down. Okay, down to the NEC Classic Car Show now. And this is on one of the dealer's stand. This is a DB5. These were built from 63 to 65, body designed by Touring over in Italy. And just over a thousand, about 1,059 or so, of these were built, plus a further 25 in 2020. Back to Chumley, Pageant of Power, and XCV737. We've got two photos of this Aston Martin. It is a DB24 Mark II dating to 1957. These were built from 1953 through to 57, so this is a fairly late example of the breed. There's a front view of the same car, car number 81. Uh, yeah, just preparing to go out for its run at the Pageant of Power, which uh, sadly no longer takes place. That was a really good event held in Cheshire at Chumley Castle, but no more, alas. Okay, back down to the NEC, the big classic car show they hold there every year. 345 AKA is a DB Mark III, 1958. A coach work on this is by Tickford. Um, this was sold as a barn find only in 2015. It sold for just over £100,000, but it was a full project. Okay, next up, pre-war today's we go to now. CC8433 is a T-Type. This is a rare old car. It's a four-door, four-seat Tourer T-Type. 
um, registered in December of 1928. It's the only one of these I think I've ever seen. It's quite a rare spot. Back to Chumley. Again, very damp, as I said before. It usually was quite damp there. YMY307. It's a DB3S. This is chassis number one. And there is actually an old photograph of this in the image archive section on the main site. Originally it had an egg crate grill, a bit like the earlier Astons. Now this is interesting, um, just bear with me, this is a Signet, of course based on the Toyota IQ, but this was Sterling Moss's old car. Look, look at the registration, and I only noticed today that in the background there is Moss and his wife Susie. I'm um, just chatting to some, some blokes over there, but yeah, that's, a, that's quite a historic example of an unusual little car. Right, back to a race action NLV. 242. We've got two photographs of this one. This is a DB2 um, dating to 1952. You can just see the two piece windscreen of the original DB2. The DB24 had a curved wraparound one piece screen. There's the same car parked up on a trailer. You can see the plexiglass rear and side windows on this particular car just to sort of uh, lose a little bit of weight. Yeah, we're about a third of the way through this collection of old Aston Martins, and here, oof, that's a nice scene. That was a Goodwood Revival in about, about 2006, I think it probably was. Got a DB6 Volante there, 1967, with a famous uh, Curia Cost transporter in the background. Wow. Okay, back to Alton, a happy hunting ground for me and old cars, 25 HLF. DB5, this was registered in February of 1964. 4 litre straight six engine under that shapely bonnet. Beautiful car. Okay, a miniature car now. Um, at first glance you'd think this was a real car, but this is a child's car. I think it's probably electrically powered. But yeah, a miniature version of a DB5 Volante. Very swish. Okay, next up, and um, we are back at Alton on one of the VSCC events that used to take place at Alton Park, AML 226. That is a 1933 Aston Martin Le Mans um, with the 1500cc engine under its bonnet. It's just shown here heading out for a bit of a track parade. Uh, lovely sunny day for it. It was a really good event that was. Back to Donington, and we've got 738EKN, a couple of photos of this one, the DB4. Donington Historic Festival, and that car is, I think, from 1961. Got the bonnet raised there, showing off its twin cam engine. There's a rear view of the same car, but a slightly different moment in time. Bootlids up, showing off the custom-made fuel tank in the back of it there. You can see the towing strap at the bottom right, just under the back lights there. Um, but yeah, all original interior in there, and Gentleman GT Racing. You can't have it fully stripped out, it's got to look a bit like a road car. Now, I haven't featured much in the way of Lagonda in this video, and that was intentional, but I did want to include this um, blue 1974 Lagonda, the four-door car. And there was only seven of these built, so this is just one of seven built. OVS 49M is the registration of this one, if you keep notes on this kind of thing. And that's a rare four-door car, uh, sold alongside the... The Aston Martin V8s, of course. You can see the twin fuel filler caps just there below the rear window. Um, yeah, what a practical car that is. Shame they didn't make a few more of them, though. Okay, back to uh, Children in Need and Car Fest. We've got a 1964 DB5 in red for a change. Makes a change from silver. Um, this one pops up at quite a few of the classic car shows held around Cheshire and probably further afield, but I certainly know it as a localish car to us here. Here's a beauty 500 CHU is the registration. This is a 1958 DB Mark III. These were built from 1957 to 1959. That looks beautiful in British racing green. This was at the Goodwood Revival quite a few years ago um, in the early mid 2000s, something like that. And their safety car for many of the races was this. A DB5 built to 4.2 Vantage spec. Registration KPP 4C, dating it to 1965. And here's the car I mentioned earlier when we were looking at that red Virage. This registration V80 AML is a 1999 V8 Coupe. These were sold off. This was an evolution of the Virage, like I say. It had a 5.3 litre V8 engine. These were built from 
1996 onwards and this is a 1999 car this was at a supercar festival held at open park in, i think in 2022 so it's quite a recent spot that one but yeah very purposeful looking car and i do like those a lot okay next up this was at a new year's day vscc or vintage sports car club meeting alw 719 is the registration and the car is an Aston Martin International dating to 1931 um, but look at that alongside an AC, a Seeker what a fantastic 50s car that is too okay back to Goodwood now a pair of Aston Martins here but in the foreground XMY80 that is an Aston Martin DB3 these were uh, campaigned before the DB3S came along Back over to the public parking area, Alton Park, HTL 504, finished off in a gunmetal metallic colour, is another DB24, this one was put on the road in March of 1954. There's a rear three quarter view of the same car, uh, looking somewhat magnificent alongside that. Well, fairly pedestrian looking Fiat that's parked next to it, but we won't worry about that. The Aston is the subject of this one. What a, what a cracking car that is. Okay, now down to the Haynes Motor Museum. We visited this uh, quite a few years ago now. And we've got an example of the DBS here. I believe this is about 1967 or thereabouts, this particular car. That's a cracking looking car, but very different to the DB24 and the DB5 and the DB6 that went before. Completely clean sheet of paper now 431 HAJ is the registration of this one DB24 mark 3 or DB mark 3 as they're also called and it dates to 1958 almost halfway through now thanks for sticking with me 3500 MW now again at Carfest at Alton Park a few years back 1962 this is a DB4, I think it's a Series 4, finished in Dubonnet Red and was originally sold by Brooklands on Bond Street in London in 1962. Now, to Bister, I photograph this. This is a rare sight, the single-seater Aston Martin DBR4. And this was designed with F1 in mind, based, I think, on the running gear of the DB3S. It made its debut at the 1959 Dutch Grand Prix, but this and the slightly later DBR5 didn't really set the world alight. Back to road cars here, AGH20G, looks like a DB6 minus bumpers. This was at Chumley, uh, the pageant of power. Um, like I say, I think it was, I think the event was last held in about 2015, so it was probably just before that. Okay, 696 PPE, a proper gentleman's racing car here. This is a DB24 Mark II, built in 1957. Looks like a well-raced, well-used example, and probably all the better for it. This was in the paddock area at a VSCC Kerbera Sprint Meeting, AXR73 is the registration. And this apparently is a recreation or a replica of an Aston Martin International. Uh, I'd be interested to know what it was actually built on. Was it still an Aston chassis that was upgraded and modified to become an International? I don't really know. Now, back to Alton Park and Carfest. We've got EJX331D as the registration of this one. And it's a DB5 debumpered. DB5, although it's got the extra little lights on the front there for the DB6, those tiny little ones next to the indicators, they're more often seen on the DB6. Here we have a DB5, a left-hand drive car, registration 1, DBN. That's a beautiful shade of metallic green. That really suits the car beautifully, I think. If your car is featured in this collection and if you own one of the Aston's feature please pop a note in the comments and let us know how you're getting on with it. All right, WJL691, that's a private registration plate on a V8 Vantage. Um, now I did check this one and it, that registration no longer shows as being active on the DVLA registration system. So what's the story with that? Where's the car now, I wonder? Okay, back to Goodwood Revival, a couple of wonderful classic Aston's here. We've got a DBR1 in the foreground, the late 1950s sports racer, and alongside that, the glorious DB4 GT Zagato. You can just see the little Z on the front wing there. Beautiful, beautiful car. 931 DMA is the next Aston to feature here. That's another example of a 1958 DB Mark III.
Okay, over at Alton Park a few years ago, we've got OFO 499. Looks like a DB4 GT to me. And the big air intake on the bonnet is one of the main differentiators between the 4 GT and the 5. Uh, but this registration actually shows now on a 1956 Kaiser Jeep of all things. So where, where's the car now? Okay, KWX 638, I believe. This is two photos now of probably the same car, a two litre speed model. Uh, but with very different front end treatment, different nose cowls. If you look at the style of the radiator surround on this car, and then have a look at the following photograph, which was at Carfest. It's got a very different cowl on the front, but I believe it is the same car. Now, which came first and in which spec it is now, I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, two different front end treatments on, I believe, the same car. Back to Bista, and wow, what a stunner this is and helpfully it tells us exactly what model it is on the number plate there or where the number plate would be Aston Martin DB Mark 3 isn't that just stunning one of those or an ACA seeker would be very very welcome here okay no time to die this is a 007 exhibition that we saw at Bewley the Bewley Motor Museum in 2022 we've got a DB5 used in the film there as part of the same exhibition at Bewley they've also got this this V8 here you just see on the picture in the background Daniel Craig sat in the car so clearly that and the other cars alongside were used in the filming of that particular 007 film okay Chumley again 144 YPL that's a DB4 Volante little pre-war job here now MV2791 that's a 1938 Aston Martin Le Mans and that is a works team car so that's got a bit of history behind it. I'm sure if you search up that registration number on Google you'll find all sorts of history about this particular car back to Donington Park on a slightly cloudy day a glorious DBR1 registration 900 BH this is quite a well-known car in sports car racing and it's had a continuous racing history I believe and Matchbox even did a toy car, a die-cast toy car version of this car um, which is a praise indeed. Another little pre-war car, very unusual colour scheme this one, DGJ242, that's a 2 litre speed model, this car was built in 1936. This was in the pits at Alton Park quite a few years ago, possibly at an Aston Martin Owners Club meeting, I think in 2018. I think it's a fairly early DB4 GT. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is, those early slimline lights. Just point out an early car. All right, back to Chumley, E598 DFC. A bit later, this is a V8, January 88, this one was registered. 5.3 litre V8 engine under that wonderful shaped bonnet. Okay, down to Bister again, and we've got a foreign registered car here, DB6, right hand drive, but foreign registered, so I wonder what the story is with that one. And talking of what the story is with that one, this, in the little picture there on the floor, it's described as a DB3S Special, clearly it's been bodied as a bit of a single seat racer, but what's the story with that car? This was at Race Retro a few years back. This was spotted at Goodwood again a few years ago now. DUL 628, that's an Aston Martin DB24. It's a Mark 1 car, dating to 1954. Nice Jaguar in the background as well. There was plenty of tasty cars down at Goodwood. Here we are, another V8 car here. I'm guessing that's possibly a V8 Vantage chap in the background there looks a bit like Ian Tyrrell who also runs a YouTube channel I could be wrong but it does look a bit like him this was a few years ago now down to Silverstone this was at a preview gathering for the Silverstone Classic or Silverstone Festival it's called now DLB 
534, that is a 1936 2 litre speed model. We'll have a closer look at the car alongside now, FGY409, and that is also a 1936 2 litre speed model. Now on a visit to La Vie en Bleu a few years ago, an event for French and Italian cars at Prescott, at the Prescott Hill Climb, I photographed this DB5. Um, now this has also got the DB6 type lamps, those small little side lamps on the front there next to the indicators. So was that a feature of late DB5s or have they been retrofitted? Maybe you can let me know. Okay, registration 5000 HJ is the next one. That's a fairly early DB4 GT. It's got those slimline rear lights. Later cars were slightly different, um, as the first car in this collection showed. But yeah, this was at the pageant of power. Down to Haynes, and I had to include one of these here, one of the Aston Martin Lagondas, one of the wedgie Lagondas, designed in the 1970s. Such a wild-looking car. Not exactly a huge success, I think it's fair to say, and reliability wasn't all it possibly could be. But yeah, what, a, what an eye-catching bit of kit that is. And there's a rear three-quarter view down at the NEC of a very similar car. Still plenty of classic and vintage Aston Martins to come. Um, now what do we have here then? This is XX4644. This is probably one of the oldest Astons to feature in this collection. This lives locally. 1922 is the date of this. It's TT2. It started out life as a single seater. And there is a short video just about this car elsewhere on the channel. So if you search for Aston Martin, you will find it. Okay, and back to road cars now. A lovely car here. What's the registration of this one? HYK. 215 HYK. Lovely DB4. The DB4 GT, of course, had the enclosed slopey covers over the headlights, as on the DB5, but this is a standard DB4. There's a rear three-quarter view of the same car. Yep, 215HYK is the registration number on this one if you want to look up any more information about it. Like I say, I can't go into huge detail on every car that's featured in these videos, but um, you can always research them separately if you so wish. Bit of a work in progress here but it sort of reminds you that all the shiny beautiful Astons that feature in this video at some point probably went through the restoration stage and here we've got a DBS that looks like it's been part restored maybe repainted but clearly those wheels and so on point that well, they suggest that perhaps the running gear is yet to be restored now there's a beauty here NAD 161 another example of the DB24 like I said the DB2 had a split flat two-piece windscreen whereas the db24 introduced the curved screen that you can see there again this was at the chumley pageant of power now i think we were down at lowton park for this particular car gw2691 a lovely Aust aston martin international special has been modified somewhat i believe this one runs a riley engine but um let me know if i'm right on that particular one but yeah i think this was in the paddock at lowton park Okay, a couple of photos of 3729 UM follow now. This is another recreation of the DB, DP214 project car. I believe there is an original surviving car tucked away somewhere, but it's recreations that you see racing nowadays. And these were crap nearly 200 miles an hour, apparently. So it was a serious bit of kit designed with Le Mans in mind. To Chumley 54 NMA is another example of a DB4 but in GT form like I said before the DB4 GT has the large air intake on the bonnet and the slopey covers over the headlamps those are the main visual clues that you're looking at a GT as opposed to the standard uh, DB4 okay DB24 here TTU 3019 in the paddock at Donington Park and you can just about see a Lotus Cortina in the background as well Two photos now of car registration UPL4. This is a DB3, a slightly different radiator grille to the uh, DB3 that we saw before. This was at Chumley in around about 2014 or 2015 or thereabouts. So it was a few years back now and there's a C-type Jaguar behind it. And here's a high up view from on top of the pit building 
at Goodwood in 2022. We popped in for a cup of coffee, and while we were there, there was filming going on for the same car, the same DB3. It was being prepared for an auction that took place later in the same year, and uh, we got a chance to take some fantastic high-up photographs of it. Okay, back to Silverstone, triple five hot, lovely DB6 there in Silver Birch. Next up we have NYM 66E, that is a rear three quarter view of another DB6 dating to early 1967. That E registration ran from January to July only of 1967. Okay, now 328 LNX is on display at the Haynes Motor Museum, and that is another example of a 2 4. Or is it a DB2 with a split windscreen? Actually, I've just noticed, yes. Okie dokie, back to Donington Park, XSK 497, that's quite a well-known car, this is a 1957 Aston Martin DBR1, and if it's the car I'm thinking of, this sold for many, many millions around 11 years ago, something like that, whether it's still campaigned or not, I don't know, let me know in the comments if this car is still out and about racing, because sadly as the value spiral, um, owners become less and less inclined to risk them out on track. Here it was just in the paddock area and being readied for a race, but does it still race or is it just tucked away, sealed from view somewhere? Let me know, please. Okay, slightly more modern, um, KE02 EWW. It's a bit modern, really, but it's got an interesting history. This is a Vanquish, and this was used in the filming of the 007 film Die Another Day, apparently. So for that reason only, I thought I'd include it here just as a bit of a glance at more recent Astons. But this is more like it for me. This is more my cup of tea. We've got a part restored DB4 here on display down at the NEC, the National Exhibition Centre near Birmingham at their annual classic car show. The bonnet looks like that from a DB4 GT without a large intake. Okay, JN6116. That's a Mark II Short, that's the name of it, the Mark II Short, and this car was built in 1935. This is in the, uh, the Orchard parking area at the Prescott Hill Climb during a VSCC meeting, I believe. Still a few Astons to go. Got a glorious drop head version here of a DB24, showing off its front hinged bonnet arrangement. Taken from afar, we have 63 BC, and this is a DB5 Volante with a very fetching red hood. Makes a change from the usual black. Another little pre war gem here BPC831. This was seen at VSCC Kerbera a few years ago. That is a Aston Martin Le Mans, and this car was built in 1933. Over at Donington, and we saw this one, 559 BCA DB4 GT with the, the enclosed headlamps. Now here's an interesting car. This used to be on display down at Gaydon at the British Motor Museum, our MRU 200 DB2 Vantage. Uh, at one time, this was actually in the property of Elliot Moss, a Sterling Moss's son. He was gifted it years and years ago, and I believe it sold in more recent times. But yeah, it'd be nice to give him that one, wouldn't it? And uh, just as a look to the future, really, KX11 MYO, the last car to feature in this video, a future classic maybe this, is the Aston 177. Only 77 of these were built, a 7.3 litre V12 engine under that bonnet, and the promise of 220 miles an hour performance, so anything with a V12 gets my vote. And that's an incredible car, rounds out this collection, of vintage and classic Aston Martins in photographs. I hope that was of interest. If you're a fan of classic Astons, uh, please pop a note in the comment and say hello. Please have a look around the rest of the channel before you disappear for good. And there'll be more videos along, all things to do with classic cars here uh, before too long. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.